Before we begin this video, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Straight to the Point Tech. I'm back again with another video. And today's video is going to be a goodie, so I'm going to show you all how to get even more performance out of the Lenovo Legion Go by adjusting some settings in the BIOS. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to shut down our Lenovo Legion Go. And I'm gonna show you all how to get into the BIOS. It's pretty simple. So we just wait for the fan to turn off on the device. You'll hear it. All right, so it's turned off. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to hold the power button down and then the volume button up. All right, so just give it a second. And it's gonna take me straight into the BIOS. Okay, we are here in the BIOS. Now what I want you all to do is go straight down into setup all right and then the bottom right corner you're going to go to more settings make sure graphic devices under uma graphics don't mess with anything else here just go straight to more settings so you're going to come to more settings and then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to configuration all right now as far as configuration goes make sure you have your ua uma frame buffer size set to six Right now, I did a update via Legion Space um, last night, so it downgraded my RAM from three, you know, uh, from six to three. So just disregard that. But anyways, while I'm here, I'm going to change this. So you want your uh, VRAM set to six gigabytes of VRAM, right? And then when you say AMD VTM technology, leave that set to enabled, right? BIOS backflash, you want to leave that disabled. If that's enabled, turn that disabled, right? The thermal mode, you can set it to performance to get better performance out of it. I recommend it. Definitely, you know, it's gonna help you as far as like uh, GPU power and give you better CPU performance. Um, your device won't overheat, so don't worry. Just make sure that you're using the correct cables. Um, you know, as I stated, an anchor 100 watt brick and an ink or a cable that is 100 watts will help you get better performance, especially if you want to play your device, you know, use your device plugged in gaming. All right. So then, you know, the next thing we have set up is insert AC to start, leave that disabled. One key battery, leave that enabled. And then we got bio self healing. You want to leave that enabled. The charging speed is set to slow at the moment. Now, if you want to, you can set this to fast your device will charge fast right so if you have it connected to a 100 watt charger basically what's going to happen is it's going to immediately pick up what type what kind of power brick and cable you have and is going to produce fast charging so yes definitely i recommend if you do have a fast charger set it to medium you can set it to fast as well or leave it on slow it really doesn't matter regardless the device is going to you know self cool itself down so don't even worry as long as you're playing at a decent TDP, right? All right. Next thing, I want you to basically keep increased external compatibility set to disable. Select thermal policy, leave that on STT. And then when you come down to maximum memory, when you get towards the bottom, you want to leave that on 7500 MTS. Now, core number, right? So this device has, of course, eight cores max, right? By default, it's six. Set it to eight. Eight will also give you more performance out of your device. We're talking more GPU power, CPU power, which equals better frames per second, which will help you with games like Stalker 2 um, or even Indiana Jones. Although it runs at only uh, 30 to 40 frames per second in certain scenes, it will help push more power out of the device. There is no like, you know, red flag here or anything to be afraid of. We are simply just making minor adjustments in the BIOS. We're not doing anything ridiculous. So yeah, I recommend these settings in particular to get better performance out of your device. If you also want to uh, get more performance out of your device doing other things, making other, you know, adjustments or tweaks, whatever, I do have other videos uh, showing you all how to do that. So please go ahead and check those videos out, how to adjust TDP, how to get better maximum performance on in games like Stalker 2. Across all the lines for different AAA titles, those settings work. So please check, that, check those videos out. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and share. Of course, that helps on my channel. But anyways, y'all, again, I appreciate all the support. More videos to come. 
This is Straight to the Point Tech. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Oh, and before, you know, we finish this video, we want to go ahead and select Exit and Save Changes. So let's go ahead and hit Yes. Your device will reboot. So I just want to show y'all so you don't panic and say, hey, nothing's happened, you know. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, so we rebooted. We saved the changes. This is going to take us back to the Windows home screen. So I just want you all to know that and not be afraid or anything. So, yeah, let's just give it a second because we made some changes. All right, should be going back to the Windows home screen any second now. All right, there we go. All right, and we are all set. All right, y'all. Well, again, I appreciate all the support. Y'all have a great start to your week. It'll take you back to the Windows home screen. If it hourglasses, you just made changes. But anyways, don't panic. Have a great week. Continue to support me. I'll continue to show you guys love. Peace.